fuego que arde tu piel Soy el agua que mata tu sed El castillo, la torre, yo soy la espada Lance Armstrong, Joe Rogan, Natty Status asked me to do an update I don't think I did the video, did I? I don't know, there's so many videos, I can't remember. But Natty Status on Instagram, at Natty Status, check out the Kino Bonnie game. It's, it's funny shit. It's truth, but it's also very funny. Very creative. But we have Joe Rogan, Lance Armstrong. If you what I think, man, big fan of Lance Armstrong. Always was, always knew he was a fucking doper. Knew it from the first time I seen him smashing uh, Veronk <laughs> up Sestri. I think it was a Sestri yeah. Yeah, horde cams smashing them. Then they're just like doing like double take, like like what what, and just that cadence. And I was just like, yeah, Lance, mate, he's he's on the good hot sauce. And that's just how it is, man. If you want to be the fucking hitter, any sport, just how it is, man. You won't dope, you won't cope. So I always knew Lance was on the gear, and people hated me for it for twelve years, seven years. People hated on me for saying Lance was on the gear. Oh, you're just jealous. You're I was like, hey, I'm not hate, man. I'm just saying the facts. I, I think Lance, I love Lance's story, how they. Coffered his team, just said, fuck off, you don't have a contract, you got cancer, you're dead meat, see you later. And he's like, fuck you, I'll take more drugs than anyone ever has on the planet, and dominate everyone. And he did that. And I love that story where he just wouldn't get wouldn't get knocked down. So I love the Lance's tenacity, how he treated people, whatever. That's just cutthroat corporate business, man. That's just the world people live in, you know. I'm not in that reality. I can't even imagine what it's about. But so everyone was always, you know, fairy tale fucking worshippers. But anyway, so Lance Armstrong, Joe Rogan. This is ginger beer, by the way, non-alcoholic, not sponsored, and, uh, oops, just hilarious how people just believe that was a real interview, Joe Rogan, Lance Armstrong, <laughs> Lance Armstrong would have more stories than fucking probably anyone out there in the sports world, he would have some epic fucking stories about strippers, cocaine, steroids, EPO, like the the bomb. Joe Rogan wouldn't even have a fucking clue. Joe Rogan's this undercarb stoner. Lance Armstrong's just sitting there. Joe Rogan got famous from UFC. He got lucky. Lance Armstrong didn't get lucky. Lance Armstrong's self-made. Joe Rogan's just a microphone puppet for UFC. Smokes some bongs, thinks he's King Dick. He's not even self-made. Joe Rogan ain't self-made. He's done a white little fucking lap puppy, a little lap dog, you know, like, and, I mean, get on him, but this, he's just a stoner, steroid head, fucking redneck deer shooter, Lance Armstrong's self-fucking made, he's self-fucking made, man, he didn't ride the back off anyone, he just rode up the fucking mountain himself, he organised it, he made it fucking happen, he changed professional sport forever, Nike made a shit ton of money from Lance Armstrong, he can just do it, so I would say that Lance can't tell the truth in that video, in that in interview, you know, you can't tell the truth. Joe Rogan's like, oh, this is Lance Armstrong. This is serious. Lance can't tell you the fucking truth because there's still people working in the cycling industry or the running industry or there's still doctors out there. There's still... Lance can't tell you the truth, man, because it will affect too many people's lives. It will, you know, other people will go to court and it will always... It will just open up a whole can of peaches, man. Lance can't tell you the fucking truth on public anyway. He can't. So why would you expect him to really fucking divulge it? Because, man, it goes deeper than Lance. Lance was just like a, a zit. A pimple, man. We're talking like a whole fucking cystic acne. Lance is like a little pimple like here. Just got popped. And people are like, oh my god, there's a pimple, yuck. There's a whole cystic fucking acne, acne sack under the skin, right? Lance is like a little fucking whitehead. And that's like corporate worlds of sport. Professional sport is basically aggressive exercise... Funded by but funded by money to make more money. Aggressive professional sport is aggressive exercise, funded by money to make more money. Created by money to make more money. Funded by money to make more money. Think about it. We give these people fucking lots of drugs. But you're basically a machine. You're basically a machine. Can you put out watts per kilo? Can you run a 10k this time? Can you swim the 100 meter freestyle this time? If you can't, fuck off. We'll get someone who can. If you can. Nike wants you, Reebok want you, Asics want you, fucking Wheaties, Cornflakes want you. It's people are surprised that people take performance enhancing products to enhance their performance when their income is based on their performance. Oh my god, like, why would they take drugs? 
so they fucking win, so they can compete at an even playing field. Cyclones definitely cleaned up a lot. Definitely has cleaned up a lot because that's not on the spotlight it had to. But still, big money, man. It's big money out there. And it's soccer. Soccer's the dirtiest sport out there. Actually, actually tennis is probably the most dirty because tennis pretends to be clean. Tennis is dirty as fuck. And that's Armstrong. We'll definitely better tell you some tennis stories. The dude's fucking connected. But Joe Rogan, you're just a, not a hippie, you're a, you're a smelly, steroidy, redneck rode off the back of Dana White's luck. You're not self-made. So don't think that you're at Lance Armstrong's level. Put down your bong. Pick up some reality checks. And understand that Lance couldn't tell you the truth. All right? He was just, just a token interview, man. He was looking at your dumb, stoned, redneck deer shooting ass thinking, man, why well, I'm even in this fucking... He, he could tell Lance wanted to get out of there. He's like, Michael, you're playing golf. Talking instead, talking to stoner. You know? And the questions Joe Reagan's asking is like, oh, I've got this exclusive, you know, like... Joey, bro, <laughs> you're just a fucking, you're a Muppet. You're a stoned, undercarb Muppet. That's all you are. Um, let's not say you're a bad person, but that's it's just a, you're just a fucking, you're a blackhead. You're a fucking blackhead that has to be squeezed out and have some real reporters in there. But uh, I'd like to see Joe Rogan, the best interview I reckon Joe Rogan ever did was uh, Victor Conte. Victor Conte. Now, Joe Rogan has some good guests on there. Victor Conte interview was pretty good. That, that was pretty fucking close to the truth. But the Lance Armstrong interview, not even scraping, not even scratching the surface of the truth. Not even.